This show is brought to you by Manscaped. Use the code AFTV for 20% off your order and free shipping at manscaped.com. Hi, and welcome to AFTV. I've got James with me. Now, you weren't on the watch along, mm. um, and I know how you like to structure your fan counts, kind of want to go through the negatives and then the positives. At the, it, during the first half, I thought it was all going to be positives, but mm. for you, let me know how, how you thought it went, because it ended 2-1 to Arsenal, but it wasn't as comfortable as I know we thought it was going to be in the first half. No, look, first and foremost, four points clear of Spurs going to North London Derby. Whatever happens, whatever Spurs do yep. in that game, it is in our hands and it's in our control. So well done for getting ourselves into that position. I've got to say that. Um, also, across the 90 minutes, I thought we were in total control. Leeds never had a spell where they were putting us under pressure, even with their goal that came from a set piece. And even in those last couple minutes, you know, that, that's the quickest added times ever gone for me. But it flew because they didn't do anything. True. And even when they did get forward and it looked a little bit, you know, fear per wins his header and it looks a bit... Yeah, that's a, that's a chance for them, absolutely. But in terms of sustained spell of pressure, they didn't have any. So Arsenal, I thought, were the better team comfortably throughout the whole game. Now, where my frustration comes in, and I'm going to have a little bit of a pop at some people in the watch-along, because I, I was, you know, I saw the goal go in, whatever, and you hear, yeah, oh, it's going to be four, it's going to be five, it's going to be this. We don't have that in us. Arsenal, this current Arsenal... Uh, they're going through a, they're going through their development. They're improving under Arteta game after game. I see us getting better at things, and I love it. And I love this team. And they'll develop that killer instinct because they're young and they need that focal point, that number nine or whatever. But we don't have it. Martinelli, I thought, was superb today. He was he was such a thorn in Leeds' side. He should have scored when that ball bobbles back to him. Now I I know that that particular chance is difficult because. You've played, you're leaning back, you're just trying to get it, you want to hit the target. But he's got to score for me. Um, it, was a hard, it was a hard one, but... Well, at least hit the target. True. Um, Eddie and Ket no, no, and Ketter did well. Uh, Odegaard, yeah. when he comes inside. Odegaard was almost flawless all day, from work ethic to ball retention to chance creation, brilliant. When, when that ball is there in the middle of the goal... Like, as in, you've you got centric, you pick your side. You, again, you've got to hit the target. We need to start asking more questions of, our, of, of the opposition keepers because a little bit against Man United as well, we, we played well and we have a lot of the ball and we work ourselves into great positions and rarely do we actually get the shot on goal. Rarely do we actually make that move and that bit of possession, that brilliant bit of football, really come to something. Um, but... Uh, that's my only thing. I need to get more clinical. Otherwise, we're going to be breathing heavy like this after every single win. Yeah, James, is it more converting the chances into goals or more creating more chances? Because we had, I think it was I like eight shots on target and they just were only wearing scored two goals. It wasn't enough and I was criticising that on the watch along. But is it more the chances created or more just actual scoring these chances? I don't know. I'd have to watch it back to see actually how many we really created across the game. Um, I think there are enough openings there from... Granite Xhaka at the back post. I remember there was one. There was another cut back to Xhaka. The Odegaard shot. Um, I think there was enough there for the team to have just done better. But some some of it, you're right. It's not just it's not just the shot or the chance. Sometimes it's the bit before. Right. Are we making Are we making enough of the the football? We you know, the we're good football in and around right. the box. Yeah. Are we getting a shot out of that and fashioning the chance we should? So that's part of it. Listen, I'll probably dwell too much on that one negative side of the game. I just think. We're going to keep going through these heart and mouth moments in games that we shouldn't be because we've absolutely dominated. We were so good today. And the scoreline doesn't reflect it, but more so that kind of feeling of relief after the game doesn't reflect it. So that's the only thing I'd say. Arsenal need to get more clinical. But very good, I thought, otherwise today. Um, some standouts, Odegaard, brilliant. Eddie and Ketia, work ethic. The, the press was really good. And Turkish mentioned it on the watch along, literally just before we end up scoring. Um, Arsenal were pressing really, really well. You know, they had their four that were pressing as a unit, very condensed. I thought Holding and Gabriel swept up really nicely. Tommy Asu playing at left back, he was playing as that inverted wing back. So he almost forms like a third man shield in front of the centre backs. Um, so Tommy Asu was brilliant. And yeah, generally across the board, the, the, the players were very good today. I don't, I don't want to mention it too much. Pepe's cameo wasn't great, if I'm being honest. Um, is it for him at Arsenal? Do you think, do you think Arteta thinks it's it for him? Do you, would you, do you expect him to be um, off in the summer? I'm going to be honest with you. 
It's a good question. It's a right question, but I'm not going to answer it because okay. we've won. It's three points on the board. We're four, four points clear of Spurs. Well done. Um, but just on, on the performance alone, you know, not just the team, but, you know, Pepe as well. Smith Rowe came on, I thought, yep. looked okay, looked bright, was making things happen. I thought Pepe struggled. Um, about his future, I'm sure we'll be discussing them. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be discussing him and yeah. many other players' futures um, going into the, you know, into the summer, whether we get top four or not. Um, but, sorry, probably a more downbeat um, fan camp than is probably expected. Uh, you know, considering the situation we're in, four wins mm. on the bounce, you know, 12 on the board since Southampton. Um, and we've taken advantage of the Spurs slip-ups. And that's all we can ask. Um, more downbeat, James, quickly, just to finish off. Mm. More downbeat, do you think, due to your thoughts of this fourth spot? I want to ask you, how confident are you that Arsenal will achieve it this season? I want to ask most people. I think we did it towards the end of the watch-long as well. For you, do you believe we'll get it? This is the worst one, isn't it? Um, I struggle to be confident. <laughs> Not for exactly. About... I know the feeling. Hmm. Yeah, and I, I don't know. I struggle to be confident because the, it's, the next two games are not, uh, Spurs away, Newcastle away. Yeah. That's tough. Um, let's see. Let's see after the derby. Uh, let's see in three games time. <laughs> but <laughs> listen, it's... Well, yeah, anyway. Three points, four points clear. Well done, Arsenal. They did their job. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.